Smoke weed every day. What is up guys, my name is Steven and we just got a legendary out of this free chest. Now unfortunately, it is not the graveyard spell, but we are one step closer to getting a level 3 log. Still, log is one of the best cards in the game right now since the buff happened to it. And I really think it needed that range buff because now it can hit the princess even if it's hiding behind the tower. So in honor of this log from the free chest we're getting, we are actually going to go into a battle live attack with the log deck and I copied this from a top player it's working really well and I think it's the same deck Molt and Nick and I used in one of the videos I saw Chief Pat use this one too so we're just gonna hop into a friendly battle or a normal battle and see how this goes um, we are up against uh, I don't really know how to pronounce that guy's name but anyways we have the ice spear right they started so the princess is a good card to start off with but unfortunately we don't have the hot rider we can just hope that cycle through soon but um the mini or the mega minion should be our only defense against that miner i don't really want to waste my ice spear on defense and look at that mega minion go to work it's not only going to take out the miner it's still going to go towards those minions um just destroying his whole entire push and i think the ice spear actually jumps and destroys those fire spears and the hog rider it doesn't go towards the tower it goes straight for the crown tower i mean that was extreme luck right there. He placed the furnace at just the right spot. The ice spirits took a shot, protecting the hog rider, and the hog rider got to the tower and did some work on that tower. A lot of damage, actually. Um, I think we already brought him down to one or 15-15. Um, I'm pretty sure that princess will attack that furnace. Just get some chip damage off of that furnace. We don't want it in our sights anymore. It's gonna be really annoying if you like leave a furnace unguarded because they can go for an instant push with two fire spirits at any time. So we have the Hog Rider and Ice Spirit making their way towards the tower. He's gonna poison it, but it's not gonna be enough. We got the Ice Wizard working on those minions. Hog Rider taking down the tower, and I think a few more shots from the Ice Wizard should finish it out. Um, we're just gonna princess that down soon. We don't need a rocket or anything, but we're just gonna use the princess on defense right now because it's gonna be uh, okay counter to the furnace, I guess. I don't really have the miner in this deck because, you know, the graveyard spell, it's not even out um, by the time I actually recorded this replay. So the graveyard spell, yeah, it just got out and it's going to seem pretty overpowered in most battles. So let's hope I get the graveyard spell soon so I can do a review on it. So he dropped those spear golems a bit too close to that furnace. One died because of my princess and we are dropping that skeleton army to protect the princess and no nope, he ends up poisoning the whole mass of troops right there and I'm gonna draw my princess on the other side just to take down the tower he drops the furnace and he drops the miner but I don't know was that to take out no that miner wasn't to take out my princess so I guess he just wanted to go for my tower because he knew he couldn't defend against that tower um, we have the Mega Minion doing some work, and I think we got this victory in the bag. We're going to drop that Ice Wizard and hopefully go for a counter or a pressure push on the other side. That's what I like to call these. So when you're defending and you have lots of leaks, or you don't want to overcharge your leaks, or you always want to go for a pressure push on the other side, which you are not defending to get your opponent kind of just, you know, to commit some troops to the other side rather than just you defending. So we counter that Miner perfectly. Just take out those Spear Goblins. One Mega Minion down. Okay, we didn't even need that. The tower was going to take out the Mega Minion anyway. So good game. Well played to whoever you are. I can't really pronounce your name, like I said. So there we go. Taking the one crown victory against this Mini P.E.K.K.A. Miner Furnace user. Definitely a well played match by that guy right there. So we're going to hop into one last replay before we end off this video. And this was actually a pretty interesting one. We t uh, one crowned each other at the same time at overtime. And we actually ended up pulling a draw on this. So I think you guys are really going to like this next one. So guys, one more thing I want to point out. If you guys have a Twitter or Instagram, I have ads on the side of my overlay. So be sure to check that out too. And anyways, let's hop into this insane draw replay. I rocketed right as his hog rider hit my tower. So we ended up both taking a one crown in this battle. So really well played by Pass here, oh, Pass Prince, I guess. I don't know what his name's like really pronounced, but he's gonna start off with a cannon right there. I think it's only level eight or level nine. I don't really know, but um, the hog rider—it's 
not gonna get any shots off that tower, unfortunately, and he's gonna go for an instant push. So I'm gonna wait for the princess to lock onto the tower, drop the Mega Minion right there, drop a log, taking out the Hog Rider, and my Mega Minion, it was only level six. I just upgraded it to film the other replay I just showed you guys, but we actually got the Hog Rider and Ice Spirit in our cycle right now, so we should be able to do some major work. And look at that princess, it took a whole shot off that skeleton army, and that was really high value for our princess right there. The skeleton army did end up killing her, but at least we got some major work done to the skeleton army. Um, we actually didn't have to defend because the princess did take a shot. So we got the ice wizard in our cycle and we got the princess also. So we just need a hog rider once again so we can go for another push. So I don't really know how I'm gonna play this, but we could start with the ice wizard in the back since he dropped the mega minion right there. So there we go. The ice wizard's going down. We got the ice spear already to counter his hog rider. We got the princess to counter his skeleton army or any other troops he places down. So we got the log. I'm just gonna drop that on his mini P.E.K.K.A. and princess. The princess is gonna go down and I think we actually have to drop a skeleton army. And look at that, the skeleton army protected the ice wizard. So he's gonna drop his cannon once again. It's really annoying when you have a hog rider and your opponent has Cannon, but look at those skeletons at my opponent's tower. They're doing some major work. Mega Minion gonna get a few shots off, and there we go, guys. We did some major damage, and now I'm gonna snipe his princess with my princess, but his Mega Minion ended up taking her out. So we're gonna drop our Mega Minion right there and hopefully log it down his princess once it touches the river. Um, I'm actually not gonna log. I'm gonna save the log for offense and use the Ice Wizard right there, I think. But we have the Hog Rider next up in our cycle, so I. I think we're gonna drop the skeleton army and ice spear just to defend against the hog rider we have no other choice right here guys uh we're actually gonna have to rocket this oh my god that was some major damage also dropping a log taking out that princess i cannot believe i actually survived that push right there damn okay if that princess actually took a shot off and i was using the skeleton army for defense i wouldn't my tower would be gone at that point, but luckily I did end up defending that. We're gonna drop the skeleton army right there. Hog Rider, please don't get another hit. Okay, Hog Rider did get a hit off. We're gonna drop our log right there. Just doing whatever we need to do. Drop the Hog Rider right there, but I think it actually is gonna make it towards the tower or not. That Mega Minion did some major work on defense, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose at this point. But I ended up coming in clutch like always. They call me King Clutch for a reason, guys. Um, that Ice Spear is going to take a shot off of my Mega Minion. And we got two princesses on his side. So we should be able to deal with those quickly and easily. But I have my Rocket in my cycle. If things get too risky. We're going to drop our Mega Minion. Drop our Ice Spear. Just doing everything we can to defend against his push. And we are actually going to go with another hog rider skeleton army push right there. You have the princess coming in, so that's gonna be bad for my skeleton army. Hopefully I actually make it towards the tower. His log didn't cycle in fast enough, so look at that. Doing some major work onto his tower. We just need to defend against one more push, and we should be okay to toss the rocket at his tower. And luckily, right there, that was an insane clutch. His princess didn't end up targeting my own tower, which was super lucky right there. We're going to drop our own princess, doing some work at his tower. He's going to drop the mini P.E.K.K.A., and I'm going to give him the good game, but he drops the hog rider. I'm going to send the rocket straight towards his tower, and look at that. Look at that. Overtime draw with the two crowns taken by the hog rider and the rocket so definitely a really insane clutch right here guys so that is gonna wrap it up for today's video be sure to drop a like down below if you enjoyed today's episode subscribe to the channel for more content like this and be sure to join my clan cancer clash we actually lowered the join requirement so most of you should be able to get in and that is gonna wrap it up peace